Israel. So what we get with the state of Israel, what we get with Zionism, is the oppressed asking the oppressor for a place in the world. And not just a place in the world, a seat at the table. You know, there's in Washington, there's this huge saying. That people say it without even wondering how horrible it is. You're either at the table or you're on the menu. That goes around in DC circles and political circles, not just DC, I imagine maybe local circles. You're either at the table or you're on the menu. So you're either at the table of empire or you're going to be crushed by empire. Those are the two options, the only options empire gives. You're either above or you're below. Which one are you going to be? And that's sadly what the Zionist movement adopted, that cosmovision of you're either above or you're below. There's lots of other cosmovisions. There's cosmovisions where we can live side by side, where we can respect each other's differences, where we don't have to assimilate, where we don't have to crush anybody. But no, that is the spirituality, I call it, of empire, is that some are superior and some are inferior. God loves, God loves some more than others. And that gives them permission then to do every atrocity to other people who they consider below and they've con and Europeans have considered Jews to be below for a very long time. And so what the Zionist movement did was appeal to the above, to their own oppressors, can we have a place in the world? And again, not just a place in the world, a seat at the table.